we are learning about plurals. Okay, so if I give you some singulars, can you turn them into plurals? So if I say cat, you say cats. If I say dog, you say dogs. If I say tree, you say trees. If I say lamp, you say lamps. Got it, well done. Okay, so today we're gonna to be learning about something very important. You cannot change everything, every word into a plural, okay? Some words, it just doesn't work. Like the word sheep. We don't say there are two sheeps, do we? We just say there are two sheep. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, five sheep. <clears throat> okay, we don't change it into a plural. We don't add an S at the end. We just say sheep. Now, it's really important before we start this lesson that we understand what a noun is, okay? A sheep, the word sheep is a noun, okay? So a noun is a person, a place, an animal, or a thing, okay? So I've got a little picture here to help you. So it's a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. So we can change nouns into plural. So um, boy, plural, boys. Girl, plural, girls. Baby, plural, babies. A place is a noun. House becomes houses. School becomes schools. A park becomes parks. An animal, okay, so we've got cat becomes cats. Dog becomes dogs. Lion becomes lions. And a thing is a noun. So the sun becomes suns. A car, a lamp sofa becomes sofas okay but like I said not all nouns can be changed into plurals so they are called uncountable nouns that sounds very tricky doesn't it uncountable nouns cannot be changed into a plural okay on tapestry I've got some flashcards for you, okay? So there's two different piles of flashcards. We've got one pile, which is countable nouns. So they're things like um, one cat, two cats, okay? Things that you can change into plurals. There's also uncountable nouns, okay? And these are things that you can't count. So say I had some milk in a cup, okay? I wouldn't just be able to say I've got milks because that doesn't make any sense. I would say how many cups of milk that I had. So I'd say I had one cup or two cups of milk. Okay, so cups becomes the plural, but we don't add an S to milk. We don't say milk because I've got two milks. Um, also the same if you have um, juice. Okay, you wouldn't say... You would just say, I've got a carton of juice or cartons of juice. You would change carton, you don't change juice. You don't say, I've got three juices. That doesn't make sense because you can't count the juice, okay? Um, same for jam. You can't count the jam, can you? That's crazy. Um, but you can count jars of jam. So you could say, I've got 15 jars, jars of jam. I wouldn't say I've got 15 jams. What else can't we count? We can't count rice. I've got 5,000 rices. <laughs> no. What do we do? We can count bowls of rice or packets of rice, uh, but not the little rice grains. Okay, so I could say I've got um, two bowls. Bowls would be a plural, bowls, because I can count those. Two bowls of rice. Um, uh, let's do one more. Let's do cheese. Um, we don't say I've got four cheeses. Four cheeses. I could say I've got four slices of cheese. I can count the slices. Four slices of cheese. Okay, so see if you can help me change these sentences so that they make sense. Because this sentence do you know where I'm going now? Yeah, Ralph's trying to listen to him. Um, okay, this sen the first sentence is, can I have two breads, please?
breadbins. Can I have two breads, please? That doesn't make any sense, does it? What could we add in there? Hmm, we could say, can I have two slices of bread? Can I have two loaves of bread? But not just two breads, okay? Because we can't count breads. Um, the next sentence. I got four monies for my birthday. I got four monies for my birthday. What could we change in that sentence that makes sense? Because I got four monies for my birthday. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, you can't count money. That's just a big thing, money. But you could say, can I, I got four pounds for my birthday. Because you can count pounds, can't you? I got four pounds for my birthday. And the last one, Dad had three bacons in his sandwich. Dad, can you believe that? Dad had three bacons in his sandwich. Doesn't make any sense. We can't count bacon. We could count slices of bacon or pieces of bacon. Dad had three pieces of bacon in his sandwich. Okay, so this is tricky. Um, and really you have to just see how it sounds. That's the best thing to do. So if you see um, a sheep and you say, oh look, there's three sheeps, and you think, no, that doesn't sound right. You just have to try and work it out and see which makes sense. But you know that if you can't count it, you can't make it into a plural, okay? Um, so just like if you have got one big pizza, you would say um, three slices. Of pizza you wouldn't just say <laughs> three pizza good okay so these flashcards this is what they look like they are on tapestry and um, you can print them out okay see if you can put them into piles of countable and non countable nouns okay you have to do today because this is the quirk you've got to take in. Um, play with those flashcards, play some games, have a look at them, put them into the right piles and then I'll see you tomorrow.